In the last video we saw how to create a virtual environment and also understood the need of virtual environments. In this video let's try to install the current version of Django and also try to create a project. So first open the command prompt to install Django onto our virtual environment. And always remember to activate the virtual environment before installing any package and creating a project and even while running the project make sure that you're always activating the virtual environment so to activate the virtual environment uh, just navigate inside your virtual environment folder inside scripts and slash activate so now we have activated the virtual environment now let's try to install Django to our virtual environment so to install Django, uh, we'll simply type python space hyphen m space pip install Django. This command will basically install the latest version of Django. If you want a specific version of Django, you could mention that. So I'm going to install the latest version of Django. So I'll just enter this command. The installation is now complete uh, to verify the installation let's start python shell and try to import django so to start the python shell simply type python and we're going to import django uh, it should be small d so import django and also try to print the version of Django. So we can see that we have successfully installed Django to our virtual environment. Also, uh, let us try to verify that we have installed Django only to our virtual environment and not to the system level so to verify that just deactivate your virtual environment so to deactivate just navigate inside your environment folder and scripts and type deactivate so now you can see that we have deactivated the virtual environment now let's start the python shell and try to import django so we can see that module not found error which means that uh, the Django whatever be installed has not been installed at the system level and it has been installed only into our virtual environment so let's just activate back the virtual environment and proceed with creation of the project now let's create the Django project to start with uh, just navigate inside the folder wherever you want. Uh, now that uh, I am in the exact same folder where I want to create the uh, project, you could literally navigate to any folder you want to and then you can create your project there. Now I will just create it in the same folder, in the tutorials folder, in the E drive. So to create your project, you're going to have to simply type Django hyphen admin space start project space my site please note that my site is the name of my project you could wish to give any name of your choice but try to avoid python reserved keywords while giving project name so once the command has been executed we can see that a folder with the name of the project that i want to create has been created with some of the files like you can see uh, a lot of python files which are related to this project has been created now uh, let's uh, talk about the files later uh, before this we'll just try to you know run this project and see how the project uh, looks like right so to run your project or website you just have to type the command uh, python space manage.py Uh, first you have to navigate inside the project so I'm gonna write CD space my site so you have to be inside your project folder 
and then you have to type python space manage.py space run server so we can see that the development server has been started and is running at port 8000 we'll just simply copy this URL and paste it in the browser by default it starts with uh, the port 8000 you can also change the port uh, in which you want to develop or run the server so now what you see on the screen is a template that has been created by the Django team uh, you know uh, just to inform that Django project has been created successfully and we can proceed to build our application now let's take a look at what's inside this project. I will just open up Visual Studio Code at this path. I'll just to stop the server, right? Uh, just click on Control and C, and you can see that uh, the server has been stopped. Now, if you try to reload the URL, you may get error because the site is not running right now. Now let me try to open the Visual Studio Code to just analyze what is there in the project. So before proceeding, uh, let me talk about the Visual Studio Code. Uh, what you see on the screen is uh, is Visual Studio Code. It is a lightweight uh, open source code editor developed by Microsoft. To install this, just search install Visual Studio Code and or code.visualstudio.com is the official website. Just navigate to that particular website and download and install it and now after installing wherever you want to open up the visual studio code you just have to type code space dot and the visual studio code will open up with that folder or wherever the folder you have typed code space dot now let's take a look at uh, what's there in the project let's take a look at first one uh, manage.py now manage.py is a command line utility that lets you interact with this Django project in various ways. Uh, we have just made use of it to just run the website using this command uh, yeah, python space manage.py space run server. We just made use of manage.py. It's basically a command line utility. The next one is uh, init.py. It is just an empty file that tells python that this directory should be considered as a python package or a python project next one let's take a, take a look at uh, settings.py settings.py contains uh, the settings or configurations needed for this django project next we have something called urls.py which contains the url declarations for this django project if you create multiple uh, apps, you can map them to a specific URL. ASGI.py is an entry point for ASGI compatible web servers to serve the project and WSGI.py is an entry point for WSGI compatible web servers. 